Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Max and Nikki 1000th Time Reactions. Where we react to a song after listening to it for our 1000th time. We release three videos a day. Every day. So please hit that subscribe button. And turn on post notifications. So you don't miss out on all this great content. Mm -hmm. What are we going to listen to right now, Nikki? We're going to listen to uh, Dance With Somebody. I want to dance with I somebody. I want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston. That's right. Or is it I want to dance... In parentheses, with somebody. No, I want to dance with somebody, in parentheses, who loves me. Who loves me, uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, By Whitney Houston. Uh, of course, we've heard this song many, many times. It's on the radio all the time, but it does definitely want to make you dance with somebody. Sure. Anybody. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily need to be somebody who loves you. I know. Um, what we do on this channel, if you're new to the channel, is we listen to the song all the way through without stopping so we don't ruin the intention of the artist. And then we talk about it afterwards, talk about a reaction, analysis, and maybe a little history behind it as well. If we should know it. Yeah. Uh, before we get to the song, though, as we normally do, we'd like to mention that we have another YouTube channel called Max and Nikki. On um, which we perform oldies tunes, jazz standards, and originals in that vein. In that vein. It seems like you cut off vein. Uh, and, and we, we have, have comedy, comedy videos on there as well, mm -hmm. if that should interest you. Mm -hmm. But for right now, let's take a listen to... I want to dance with somebody who loves me by Whitney Houston for our 1,000th time. Here we go.
if that doesn't want to make you get want to get up and dance, <laughs> I just don't know what well, it does. It just I mean, <laughs> makes you really, really want to get it. It also up and makes dance. you really happy, that song. You it know? does. You know, we were, you know, this is a, you know, people, the DJ might play this at a wedding, and we were just at a we- wedding recently. Where they did and play And everyone was just dancing the night away. This song really was just, uh, you know, this really helped to get the, get the dance going. floor going, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just a classic party song, you know? Yeah, because you can dance freely however you want, but also you can make a circle with this dance, you know, on the dance floor where people can kind of either break dance or do some sort of other thing, you know? It, it's kind of an all-encompassing dance song that you can dance however you want with, you know? Now, there's a lot going on in this song that's really cool. I mean, real quick, I want to mention that it, it's almost funny but cool that you hear those male voices dance, at the end. Dance, dance, dance. Yeah. dance. That's kind of cool. And she also does those like sort of... She's kind of laughing at that, you know? She also does these high, you know, head voice, kind of almost uh, whistle voice kind of... Well, not as... Not, that's Not whistle voice like Mariah like Carey Carey, uh, but, but it, it is high. She does go pretty high there, you know? Well, she... At uh, the end. Um, she's, you know... She's in that same family with uh, Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick, and she, yeah, I think uh, Dion Warwick is her cousin. That's right, but I think wasn't there they're related to uh, an opera singer? Am I correct about that? I I don't I don't know. Um, they're not related to Leontine Price, are, are they? Uh, maybe maybe I'm incorrect about that, but uh, it's yeah. But anyway, regardless, singing runs in the family, and um. You know, Whitney Houston's mother actually was a, a gospel singer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so she grew up singing. And oh wait, Mariah Carey's mother, she was an opera singer. Oh okay, I think. Um, but I think there's opera in their family too. I don't know. I, I might be more gospel, but um, but Whitney Houston. I mean, well, this song is really cool. There's a lot of, you know. I don't know. Were there any real instruments in this at all? I mean, maybe the drums were played by a real drummer, but they were definitely like electric. Sure, type there's drums. a lot of you know either synth or sampled sounds. In sampled this. sounds. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if there was a guitar in there or if it was like a, a synthesized guitar. I mean, right? I, but I there was this. Tell. There was this lick that was happening a few times where it would kind of bounce back and forth on the pan spectrum, which was kind of a neat effect. Where you know the phrase you know, went from here to here and then it finished on over here. Which right, you really cool. heard it across the stereo spectrum of... That was a neat. If you're listening neat. with headphones. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I was listening for the bass too and I believe that was even played by, by a keyboard, you I know? I think it was played by a keyboard. It sounds like it, yeah. Um, and But there's something with the sounds that they're u- utilizing in this song that are, is very late 80s. Late, well, like, no, just very 80s, for no, sure. No, but it's very... It's very mid to late 80s border you know it it it's not this song doesn't sound like the early 80s it sounds like definitely 87 and beyond you know yeah i guess so wouldn't this come out 87 i think so um but it is a ver- well i don't know necessarily agree yeah, with that totally this, actually there's, there's a there's almost a um there's a crispness to the production there is that, a crispness to the production but i would say you know, listen to Duran Duran. I think they sound very crisp. Some of their stuff sounds very yeah, crisp. Yeah, but there's know? something about that that sounds... Uh, I don't know. There's, there's, This sounds... I mean, there's more analog in Duran Duran than there is in this, you know? Well, what do you mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. It just... Yeah. There's something about this song that's... it. There's something about the production style that sounds does, very late You mean like the me. difference between Thriller and Bad? You know, like bad exactly. sounds a little bit cleaner The difference sounding. between Thriller and Bad, there's, there's, um, there's a clarity in Bad that you don't quite hear in Thriller. Um, I'm not talking about whether no. or not it's better or not. No, he's saying, yes, there, it, the instruments are clear, obviously, it's almost Thriller, like, but there's, there is something, you hear more of the tape, for lack of a better sure. word. Sure, you, it, it's, it's the but same. But I don't agree with that with... It's Duran Duran. They sound pretty clear. It, on it's some it's of their the songs. same. It's the same thing as if you heard if you were watching Cheers when it first began, and then you watched Seinfeld from when it began. That ten year gap. There's a definite evolution of the film quality. You know. Yeah, but I would say not as grainy. Okay, but listen. What sounds very clear and pristine is songs from the Big Chair. You know, by Tears for Fears. Sure, but that's the mid '80s. The, exactly the mid '80s. Though. But yeah, but 
But you're kind of making the argument that's not, in the late but 80s. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about the sounds that they chose in the song sound very late 80s. You yeah, know? Or maybe you're right. Maybe you're it, right. It sounds like, um, who does that song again? Tell it to my heart. Da, 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 da. Um, um, you know, what's, what's her name face? again? Uh, Taylor Dane. Taylor Dane. It, it's, it's almost like, oh, Taylor Dane was soon to come after this kind of song. You yeah, know? but I just... The sounds I, of it. I, yes, yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure, you know. Anyway, uh, but I do think, uh, yeah, there is something, there's a, a funkiness to the cho- choice of sounds. You know, sure. there is a kind of a funky sure. thing going what is on. That, but what is that, um, you know, that instrument? Uh, castanet? Castanet. There's, I don't, it sounds like a maybe a sampled castanet that's being played, right. you know? But it's not just that, there is kind of a, I don't know if it's a fake guitar kind of sound, but there's a certain funk kind of sure thing, rhythmic choice going on. But I'm not just talking about the rhythmic choice. There is something funky about the choice of sounds, actually. Sure, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh-huh. Anyway, I think we've uh, It's a great song. I love, this song. I love, I, you know. I and was what a great singer, by the way. Before Whitney we listened Houston to this, I, we were deciding, oh, what Whitney, Whitney Houston song should we listen to? I was, I was thinking Greatest Love of All, but. Which is a great song. Which is a too. great song, but. I'm glad we chose this one because it really does make you want to dance, it, it, and it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good, you know. It makes you want to just get out there and dance, as we, uh, you know, as the title suggests. You know, uh, I think that'll do it for this reaction video. If you like what you heard and saw today, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to find out about more Max and Nikki reaction videos. Please keep tuning in.